Inside a traditional chapel in Gateshead is artwork that's much more modern. These graffiti murals are a celebration of the return of the Lindisfarne Gospels to the region. It's the second time the vicars let street artists loose in his church, and it wasn't without a little trepidation. There is always a little niggling element of, have I put my trust in the right place? But they've never let me down. There's such a great bunch of lads. Toby started yesterday and has until Sunday to finish his painting of St. Luke. But while the 1,300-year-old Gospels are thought to be one of the world's most precious works, this is often thought of as vandalism. But they aren't as different as you might think. We found it really interesting to look at how the monks did their manuscripts and how they did their calligraphy and how they developed their own tools and materials to produce these manuscripts, very much like the old school graffiti writers used to go out and they would source the different paints. We felt there was a lot of similarities between these two art forms. wasn't really too keen on them putting art up, and many of the congregation weren't, but since it's been up, especially the graffiti, I saw the magic in it. I mean, that's stuff on the metro system between here and South Shields. Like my brother says, that's just sheer vandalism. Like. And on Sunday, when the parishioners came into the chapel and saw that piece of work up there, they were so impressed that they would like to see the thing left there permanently. Like all graffiti art, this won't be here forever. It'll be gone at the end of August. Until then, the team will be showing how the calligraphy seen in the Gospels is still inspiring artists today. Surely the monks of Holy Island would be proud of that. Katie Oakes, ITV News in Gateshead.